Ed from freesaloneducation.com and I'm here with tip number 13. One more to go. Uh, so this one, what we're gonna focus on is just cutting a straight fringe, bang, however you wanna say it. Um, and we're gonna do that dry. And the reason I like to do this dry is because I learned this a while ago, I believe. I'm gonna go ahead and give DJ Muldoon credit for this one because I, I definitely, after seeing him, I've seen some people do it, but it's just an easy way to do it. So I'm gonna show you a couple key things that are gonna make you successful with this. So what you're gonna do is to cut the fringe. I wanna dry the hair nice and smooth. And then what I'm gonna do is take my scissor, put it in underneath the hair, so lifting the hair up, and you can decide how much hair you actually wanna cut into this. Let's take some of this out. I don't need to cut all the hair in there. Most of your guests aren't gonna look for a super, super heavy fringe, but this is a great way to cut a straight one. So now, slight off-center parting. I'm gonna take the hair underneath my comb, comb out some of the existing. So this is really what you wanna work on. It's getting to the point where you can take the hair underneath your comb, set it into the wide teeth of your comb. We're using the 332 comb again. Um, lifting the hair up. Now, what you wanna see is how the hair is coming off of the head. Again, head shape is a big deal. I don't wanna over direct this too high up because then we'll layer the bang, but I don't wanna have it too low because it'll just become, uh, basically this you're looking at zero degrees here. So if we have 90 degrees here, this is zero degrees coming off. So as I cut the fringe, I don't wanna go below zero degrees. So we're gonna take the hair, put it in my comb. Start with a little section first. You don't have to go crazy with it. I'm gonna put it in my comb. I've got zero degrees here, so I'm just gonna drop it slightly below. And we're gonna work. I'm gonna use my Z2 scissor, type Z2 from Mizutani. I like this one because it doesn't push hair whatsoever. It just cuts it right off. And you're gonna get a nice little line. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more hair, toss it into my comb, and just work and connect those lines together. Now, I may start a little longer than I want this to be, and then I'll work my way up using the scissor. Make sure you're, you're good at the first couple steps that we did with just moving the one blade. Then I can bring a little bit more hair on. Cutting through there. And you'll see me go over the section quite a few times, and all that's doing is just polishing that line up. Working through. I'll grab a tiny bit more from the corner there and we'll work that line in. Now again, because the head starts to curve away and I was over directing it here, it's gonna drop a little extra weight in there. So I like to go in and just clean up right in the edge there with my scissor. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. And when you're working with mannequins, guys, this is a mannequin given to us. Thank you, truck given to us again from hair art. Um, and what I like about the mannequins, when you spend a little extra money on them, the growth pattern goes down. So it's allowing me to, tr to practice this fringe. Most mannequins, they grow straight back in the fringe area. So you can't really do this technique on them. So we're gonna work that line, going over it and over it with my scissor, drop it down, take a little bit more hair, put it in, just make sure your elevation stays the same. Working our way across, go over that line a few times, make it nice and smooth. Right to the corner and really, I'm lifting it up and I'm looking at where this hair ends. And if that's where I want it to be, then that's, then we're good to go and we'll just start cutting that line in. So we work our way across and again, right in the corner, Work some of that weight off. And one hair. And there you go. That's how I cut a straight fringe. You'll see other people do it as well. Again, I did not invent this. This is just the way that I like to do it. It works really well. So hope you guys enjoyed this tip. We got one tip left, step 14 coming up. So make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, freesaloneducation.com for more tips, tricks, and everything else. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.